What's good guys, it's Lil Wamba checking in and welcome back to another tutorial video. So guys, let's dive into it. So first thing first, once you've opened the app, you'll be presented with this screen. So there's two main buttons, new project and add project assets. So your project assets are all your graphics. So I recommend you do that first. So every time when you come into the app, you don't have to start again. So I'll be using my own personal color palette. If you head over to the creation Instagram page, we actually offer free color palettes, which you can use for your own personal brand. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my main color. And then for my set of graphics, I'm going to go ahead and cast, start customizing. So first thing first, change the border. Ideally, you want this to be a very dark color so the rest of the elements can stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my hex code, click allow, paste, and then I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker than usual, and then done. Slightly below that, if you look for, if you look below, it says save to library. You want that selected, so all our colors are saved within our library, and we can use, it, use them to customize other features. And then we click select, and then we have our outline, and then the fill, we're going to use the main color, delete, and then we're going to paste the hex code and then save. And then considering this is a shoulder workout from my actual workout last week, I'm going to use a, a, a very bright color. So I'm going to go for white to create the contrast. So our graphics stand out when we post them on social media and then we click save. So this is our first set of graphics we can add to our library. And then you can go ahead and add all your graphics for your future workouts. So when you come back to it, you can just upload your, upload your footage and start editing. And then next thing that I like to do is add a gradient. So essentially a gradient is what we put between our footage and our graphics to create um, contrast and depth. So our graphics don't get lost within the video visually. It will make more sense in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to add another gradient in a slightly different color. So we have more options. So we can go to the bottom left hand corner and actually customize the color and save. As you can see below, you can actually use existing colors from the color palette. And then we're going to click save. And just like that, we have our graphics and our gradients and we're ready to start editing. So the crop that I'm using is a four by five which is uh, the perfect aspect ratio for Instagram. And then, or you can just keep it normal and have your vertical video, which is nine by 16. So one thing that I like to do when I import my footage into the app, I like to start uh, color grading the footage itself. So make some adjustments that allow, my, uh, allow me to stand out. So if you go to adjustment, the first thing that I, I always do is change the gamma Essentially, this controls the darkest parts of the video or the blacks to make them more realistic. I think I tend to find that with iPhones, the videos tend to look very flat. So one thing that I like to do is create gamma and then maybe change the temperature to a little bit colder. And then we can add a little bit of sharpness. And then we want to increase the saturation slightly, just like that, right? So now our footage already looks 10 out of 10. So now we can go to the first section, the stickers. So these are the set of graphics that we've made. So ideally, I'm gonna go for the black gradient and then we're going to scale that up to create the contrast. And then you want it to slightly fade into the elements of the video. So it fits in perfect, quite flush. And then, we're going to drop our set of graphics just like that. You can scale them up if you want and use the borders to click. And then if we swipe to the left and then go to text design, we're going to put dumbbell shoulder press just like that. And then we can actually put our title anyway on the video, but we're not done there just yet. So if you click on the arrow, if you keep tapping, you can actually get different orientations of, and then if you click the white box with the A, we can actually adjust this 
by pulling down the arrows to create a block around the 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 text oh this will make sense in a second so now we can actually pinch and grab and scale it and bring it down next to our graphics so i personally like to align it with the traps and slightly below next to the abdomen and then if we select the graphics again and bring this forward just like that now we can create that depth that we want and almost have the text coming behind from the graphic and then if you want to trim your footage you can click on video and you can actually trim at which point you want the video to start so if i wanted to stop there and start there we can actually trim that or we can actually add more footage onto our timeline maybe if we have a different angle we can go ahead and do that and then the next step we can actually select it on our graphics and animate when we want the graphics to appear and when we want them to disappear so this is the in and out so we can actually adjust that and then with the app itself we can also select different themes of how we want the graphics to appear just like that so there's a lot you can do with our text feature so i'll just go back to the normal and select and we're good to go and if you want to add more titles you know i like to add little elements to create depth and then if you click on font you can also uh, click on the blue tab and it'll give you different options for fonts and i'm going to go for this slightly thicker one to create some contrast and then we can actually choose the color that we want to match what we have so i'd like to add that at the top corner so if you're making a carousel video essentially it's almost like plus another exercise so you can create different swipe videos of which elements you want and then that is pretty much it like if we've got all the visual elements dialed in i got my shoulder workout demonstrating the exercise that i want to do and then we can actually either play around with it we can either play around with the different aspect ratios or we can just you know just go back to the one that we already have we can adjust the different uh sections of the video and then that's pretty much it and then guys we can export our footage just like that so this is the outcome of the video that we just made so if you do want to get started feel free to check out our app and do provide provide us some feedback as this will help us continue building and making the app better alternatively if you're an experienced editor you can check our website where you can download the gym graphics the app pack LUTs and sound effects for Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. So we've definitely got you covered <laughs> on everything and um, you could be on your way to making some sick, sick content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one.